What is the crack, lads? Welcome back. I know where I'm looking. Hello. What is the crack? Welcome back to another episode in this formation and tactics series. So today we're going to be taking a look at long ball counter. Now, when I talk about the meta, right, and I've talked to a lot of people, I'm hopefully going to be doing a special episode coming soon with one of the top players in the world where we're going to be discussing what he plays, how he plays, um, you know, why he picks certain players and stuff like that because I do have a lot of insight, obviously, luckily enough, we, you know, I talk to a lot of people and I pick their brains, especially professional players and guys that are playing at a super, super high level. Um, and, you know, they all, there's a pattern there. If you go in and look, and we'll, we'll show you guys in a second, because even though I haven't checked the top three or top five players in the world at, at the time of recording, we're going to do it in real time. And I would, I would say that either, if we check the top three or four or five players, I would say at least 80% of them will be using this formation whether it's slightly modified or it's slightly tweaked here and there i reckon this is what they will be using because this is the meta this is what works um now we're going to go through it a little bit obviously look pay no heed to my 89 team play style proficiency which we have here um my camera is covering at the team play style level there is at 89 I don't play long ball counter, so a lot of my players aren't trained. You'll see here, right? So, like, the likes of Ruben Diaz, Vieira, Messi, and Romario, and uh, Cancelo are all starters for me in my out wide formation. So, they're linked to that. Um, so, that is the reason for that, as you can see here, um, with um, Ruben Diaz. Like, I have him at 80, and uh, with, uh, with his out wide there, and even Cancelo there as well is 88. So that is why the players are where they are with that. But in terms of just the basis of this, right? This is, as I talked about, especially for newcomers coming along, this is the meta, right? The 4-3-3 formation with a slightly modified midfield is the meta and it has been the meta for quite a long time, right? Now, I would say that this is probably even more the meta with a left back and then your center back over here because if you will notice patterns of play, majority of people will attack down the right flank so what you want to do is to have that kind of focal point to stop that and have your bank of three your three center backs right you're going to have this guy tucked in then you're going to have paddy v here as your kind of stopper so paddy v is going to act as kind of a third man center back here one jesus who we have in here i would probably trade him out obviously my players aren't all uh leveled up with this formation so that's why these players are picked but for example, you're going to probably have somebody like Rudiger in here who's a meta center back or Van Dyke. Obviously, you can just see that my team play style is going to go down. So what you're going to want to do here is basically have your back four, which will be a back three, essentially, which will be your three center backs. And then you're going to have guy, a guy like Cancelo who can free roam. Now, again, as I said, you can swap this out and you can put Cancelo on the right and then you can put Rudiger in here, center back. It doesn't really matter. All that matters is that you're going to have three center backs. That's all you need to have if you're playing this formation. Your DMF is going to be your stopper and then your CMF is going to be your orchestrator, your link up man. And then Messi as our AMF is going to be sweeping up into this area. Any area here that we have, all Messi's role here, all he has needs to do is get the ball from any position here get the ball into Messi or Modric, and then they're going to be spraying it forward to one of these three guys, right? Now, obviously, there's a couple of limitations on this. Firstly, if you are a possession-based player, if you enjoy to dribble, if you play out wide, I'm guilty of that. I'm guilty of all of those. This formation might not suit you as well as other formations that we have covered. Check out my possession-based one, and we will have an out wide one coming soon as well, which is personally what I use and my favorite one. It got me to Division 1 before. We're currently in Division 3 at the moment and flying it with that squad. But this this does work, man. This does what it says on the tin because you're packing your midfield uh, where you need to pack it, and you're packing your striking options up front there as well. And when I talk about packing your midfield, yes, you have two men in midfield because Vieira is practically a centre back. But what I mean by packing it is that a lot of possession is not going to be used in this area. Like the blue space there, the empty space that you see. You're going to be keeping the ball and keeping it super, super narrow when you're playing this uh, formation, right? Now, as I said to you earlier, lads, right? You need to have the right players in these positions, right? So for me here... If I'm just taking this, obviously Mingle inside goals, I'm going to want Neuer, Donnarumma, Ablak, whoever I've trained up. I don't have any players trained up for long ball counter because I don't play that formation myself. But I do play it on my Xbox account. Um, 
and it's sometimes and it is very 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 meta but what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to have two strikers that can finish their dinner and going to be able to score like for fun you're going to need two dribble strikers two dribble centric guys and you're going to need just an outright striker that can finish the ball from crosses from you know missed interceptions from blocks from dribbles from rebounds whatever right so we're actually going to go in here to dream team and we're going to have a look at the top three okay so we've got cams we have got Kingslayer set, we have got Arda, we have got Kalahard, we have got this guy as well, Satisfaction, right? So let's just have a look at the top five and let's just see what formations they're playing. Uh, this could be egg on my face now. Okay, so this guy's playing a modified, pretty much exactly what we said. Yeah, pretty much exactly what we said. Um, so we're off to a good start with guessing what the top guys are playing. So you've got Tomori, Varane and Nesta as your three centre backs and then you've got Kunde as their right back. So David flipped kind of. Vieira, Kimmich and Guti, DMF, CMF, AMF. And then you've got up front Mbappe, Messi and Rumenegi, Dida and goals. So you've got your three centre backs. You've got your stopper in Vieira. You've got your attacking midfielder. You've got your engine your engine and your kind of box to box in Kimmy. And you've got your back four really set up solid there. Let's just check Callahard here. And let's see what he's rocking. So again, he's got a bit of a modified one. He's using wingers. So this guy might be the exception to the rule. He is actually using a left back, a right back and two wingers. So he doesn't really fall into the quick counter style. Now he still might be playing quick counter, but uh, yeah, that's more of a traditional 4-3-3. Let's see what Arda is using here as well. So yeah, so again, this is exactly what I'm talking about. So you've got this the same again as we saw in... Uh, uh, two minutes ago, we've got our three centre backs. We've got Jao Cancelo on the left. We've got Vieira, Kimmich, and Messi. So practically an identical team. We've got Son, Mbappe, and Rumenegi up front, and definitely is playing a long ball counter. Courtois and goals. Let's see what the second Kingsler set is playing. Uh, game plan. Again, there we go, boys. There we go. I mean, you've got your three centre backs. Cancelo was on the right this time instead of the left. Kimi, Marquinhos, De Bruyne. And then Neymar, Mbappe, and Son up front. Canning goals. Um, and let's see what Cam is, Cam's is rocking as well. I would be surprised if it's not long ball counter. Yeah, sit pretty, pretty, pretty identical to what we have set up there. Cancelo left back. Ruben Diaz, Rudiger, and Piaul on the centre backs as a trio. Fiera, Neymar, and uh, Brian Robson is an interesting choice there as a CMF. Son, Mbappe, and Romanegi. So you can see a pattern between all these guys' teams. And that will, like, kind of extend way out until, you know, even, like, just go to a random player's squad here. This could be a different one. Yeah, so he's got a modified version of that. Again, we saw this. So these are kind of two of the metas. You've got quick counter, which we'll cover again in another video. And you've got the long ball counter, which a lot of the players are using there, um, as we see here. And again, that's kind of what works at the moment. And you can see there... Every second, every third player, I would say like probably 80% of people that are in the top 1,000 players are using this. You've got your three uh, center backs. This guy's got Aspilicueta playing as a right back. That's kind of very similar because he's a defensive minded player. Casemiro as your stopper. Modric as your engine man. And you're kind of like bringing the ball forward. And then Pedri as your bit of finesse. You're looking for that final ball. Neymar, Martinez and Son. Again, we're seeing Neymar or Messi. We're seeing Romanegi. We're seeing Mbappe. We're seeing Son the whole time. Koulibaly and Nesta at the back with Hernandez. So yeah. So again, when we go back to our squad there, it does tie in with what we just saw a second ago. That's kind of it. You can obviously modify this however you want it. Some people play like this. Some people play more central. It depends what you want to do. You can swap, as I said, Rudiger over here. Bring him in as a centre back. And uh, Cancelo as a left. And then you've got your same formation set up there as the rest of them. So that is it. And then obviously with the tactics then as well, you are just going to be playing team play style, long ball. Individual, you're going to have defensive on Cancelo. You're going to have defensive on Vieira. You're going to have counter on Romario. And you're going to have counter on Lewandowski because these forwards will stay forward. They won't track back even if they have the track back hard. So that is it, lads, for long ball counter. Check out my other video where we did it on possession. Let me know what you guys are enjoying to play. Let me know what players you are picking as well. As I said, you're going to litter your squad here with guys that have one touch pass. As you look here with Modric, you've got one touch pass. You've got double touch. You've got true passing. You've got weighted pass. Messi is going to be the same with the dribbles and the stats. The double touch, the one touch pass. Uh, Son will have one touch shot, I presume. First time shot, yeah. Lewandowski. Uh, first time shot. Romario. 
first time shot so again you can see the pattern there the players that we are picking it's going to be first time pass for our, our orchestrators and first time shooting for shoot on site for our strikers uh so that is it lads that is it for another episode don't forget to subscribe get in touch in the comments below let me know if these videos are enjoyable for you guys and i will talk to you later let me know what you guys are rocking formation wise as well peace